Today, the BBC across the UK has been looking at whether the NHS has been hitting key targets. We're looking at how long patients wait for cancer care, for planned operations and to be seen in accident and emergency. The findings are revealed as the BBC launches its online NHS tracker, which will allow you to see how your local health board is performing. Well, Aileen Clark has been looking at the NHS in Scotland. Aileen, how is it faring? Well, if you turn up at A&E, then yes, um, Scottish hospitals are doing a little bit better um, than the hospitals elsewhere in the UK. Now, last year there was three months when, on average in Scotland, 95% of patients who turned up at A&E were treated or admitted within four hours. Now, that's the key target there. Uh, in England, Wales and Northern Ireland, they didn't hit that target at any point. So where are we in terms of cancer treatment? Well, unfortunately, with cancer treatment, we're not leading the field. Um, Scotland uh, didn't hit the targets last year, but then the health boards throughout the UK missed those targets as well. But, but the key target here is that 95% of people who get an urgent cancer referral from their GP, well, they should be getting their first chemo or maybe surgery um, within 62 days. So that's a very key target for cancer patients. Now, the last time Scotland hit that target was back in 2012. England managed to hit it in December 2015. And what about planned operations here? Well, if you want to get that dodgy hip sorted, Jackie, then Thank you, really. <laughs> you're welcome. You should actually be under the knife within 18 weeks, so four and a half months of your GP referring you. Now, Scotland, again, didn't hit that target last year. Neither did any of the other nations. But the last time Scotland did manage that was back in the summer of 2014. And has there been any response to all of this from the Scottish Government? Well, the Scottish Government are saying, look, that you know, they're putting you know, record levels of investment into the health service. When it comes, for example, to cancer treatment, they know there's a bit to go there. There was only 87% of patients got that treatment in the timescale they should have done um, in June this year. They understand that's quite a bit away from the 95% that they are aiming for. So there's a special group being set up to have a look at that and trying to speed that up. But also, I think it's really important important to mention that these figures are national figures. It's comparing national figures, but you can find out what this actually means for you in your own area uh, by looking at what your local health board is doing. And for example, in NHS Lanarkshire, they are very good at cancer treatments in that they hit their target for speeding people through to those, but they're not so good on A&E or planned operations. Likewise, in Tayside, very speedy in A&E, not so speedy when it comes to getting people their cancer treatment. So it's well worth a look to see what this means for you in your own area. Aileen, thank you. And if you want to do just that, to find out how your local health board is performing on waiting times for cancer, A&D and for planned operations, go to the BBC's NHS Tracker at bbc.co.uk slash NHS Tracker.